Hello, Glenbrook North Band community. Uh, it's good to be with you today from the beautiful music production and music theory classroom. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry for the delay in this video, uh, crazy busy around the change of semester, but I wanted to submit a video for your consideration going over all the details of what we went over in our London meeting during the first week back from school in January. Uh, during this meeting, I'll be going over a number of forms that are available for uh, any student to pick up in the office. They are this letter, which I actually emailed to the community, so you could also see that there, that goes over the details of this trip. The offer of the trip that goes over everything uh, in detail that you will be paying for, but uh, students want to pick this up for me. And then uh, finally, this uh, another letter to the community that will go over uh, the, the pay structure, as well as have a document uh, where you will officially sign up for the trip. Uh, and I'll be going over all of those in, in, in brief form uh, today. Uh, initially, I just wanted to talk about the importance of trips like this. Trips like this offer an opportunity for students to take the learning that they do in the classroom and apply it in the real world. Uh, and, and experiences like this are, are truly priceless. They uh, form great bonds between uh, classmates, uh, and as we do so much together throughout the course of the school year learning, uh, to be able to, again, take that on the road, uh, you, you have that shared experience and that shared time together, and, and nothing can replace that. Uh, so it, uh, it, it truly is a benefit in, in a million ways, both in skill and in social development. Uh, in this trip in particular, uh, traveling to London and marching in the New Year's Day parade and playing in a concert in one of their beautiful venues, it is a great experience uh, as we will perform in the parade for over 600,000 people, which uh, will be a remarkable experience that I think in most of our performing lives, we will never perform for a, an audience of that magnitude in, in one moment, uh, quite like that experience will provide for. And then in the concert venue, we will att attend an adjudicated concert where we will get judge feedback on how we perform, which is always good for continued skill development, and perform for groups of our peers as other bands will be performing for us and we will perform for them. Uh, so again, keeping that dialogue about you know how do we perform and keeping that focus on the skill. But of course, all that being said, we'll be doing a lot of sightseeing as well, which I'll go into here in a moment. Um, so, uh, beyond that, uh, there's a lot of other added benefits to the trip. Uh, there will be many chaperones in addition to the two band directors who will take care of your children as we are overseas. But in addition to that as well, uh, we will have a medical professional that we will pay for to be on duty for the duration of the trip. Should any medical needs arise, we'll have professional care uh, as well. So let's start going into some of the details of the trip because like I said, I want this video to be somewhat brief, uh, even though it's going to be covering a lot. Of course, uh, if you have any questions about any of this as we go, uh, I'm happy to cover that for you. Um, so the first document I'm going to go over is this, uh, this letter. Uh, it essentially goes over the, the fine details of the trip. First, uh, the trip is the 27th of December 2019 through the 3rd of January 2020, uh, and the feature, of course, being that January 1st trip. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, parade. Uh, we will travel likely by British Airways, although until uh, they, they have a chance to confirm airfare, which is maybe in about three, four months. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to say which airline we will be flying, but uh, British Airways is typical of what they send uh, over there to London. Uh, the total cost of the trip is $3,600. This is no small uh, fare, so I, I understand that, and which is why I want everyone to be completely comfortable when they are signing on to this trip that, uh, number one, that this is something that they can do and that they're comfortable with. And uh, number two, that you are uh, excited about the product that you're getting from the experience. Um, for my part, I take that very seriously so that I can assure you um, that throughout this entire process of I'm confirming what the experience will be overseas to the music that we will create as a band to take over there and the skills we will continue to develop to the safety that each student will be able to uh, hopefully enjoy uh, while they're over there. Uh, it's something that uh, we will... Um, I be paying attention to every detail with. So I, the first uh, payment is due in a deposit, and that is due February 8th, uh, $200 deposit, uh, made by check to GBN BPO. 
Uh, that is the only payment that must be made by check. If you wish to pay by credit card, there's an avenue to do that. Uh, more details will be coming out uh, after uh, we have everyone uh, on board uh, on the 8th. Each payment after that uh, is three payments of $900 due April 9th, June 3rd, and September 3rd. Uh, and then a final payment of $700. Now, the final payment could move up or down. A lot of this is a moving target right now because until we have people completely signed on, uh, there's, uh, there's a little bit of uncertainty as to how we can offset the costs. Our hope is to have 85 people traveling to London. If we come in with a few more people than that, the trip could go down. If we come in uh, 10 or 15 people lower than that, trip could possibly go up in cost, but we're talking about 20 or $30 more in cost. Uh, at no point will you be hit with a $400 charge uh, above and beyond. Um, in this document, it also mentions fundraisers. Um, emailed to you uh, over the last couple of days was this list of fundraising opportunities, uh, and uh, Melissa Prober was kind enough to type this up for us. It goes over the current ongoing fundraisers that we have happening right now that the students can take part in, um, and, uh, and some proposed fundraisers for the future. Please review that. Understand that while uh, fundraisers can off, uh, you know, help reduce the cost, they can rarely pay for the entire trip. Uh, we have had students do that, but you need to really have the right market, whether it be an office that can sustain a lot of people coming through and, and purchasing product, um, uh, to be able to do something like that. Uh, going door to door, uh, it, it might be a little bit tougher to to uh, to crack that particular nut. So uh, please uh, keep a realistic view about how fundraisers can help. Certainly we have seen uh, over the course of several fundraisers, students be able to raise $1,000 uh, to help offset the cost, but then you'll still have that $2,600 uh, bill that you will be responsible for. So uh, please review these. Uh, Melissa and Betsy Sharp's contact information who coordinate our fundraisers are on the document themselves. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, please contact them or myself. We're both happy to help. Now, the next form is this offer document here. Within this offer document, it goes over the details of the trip. <laughs> In the first few pages, it mentions the performance in greater detail, so you can read about the, the when and the where about what we will do. And then further on, it gives you more indications on the second page, so you can identify these pictures here, about exactly the food accommodations that you and accommodations that you will receive. Uh, a couple of days ago, I emailed a link to the website for the hotel where we will be staying, so you can review to see that the accommodations are quite nice for where we will be staying. Uh, students will get a large breakfast every single day, and with the exception of just two or three meals, they will either have vouchers or catered meals uh, to take care of their food costs. So the nice thing there is that each day, students will not need to be walking around London with hundreds of dollars in their pocket to offset the uh, additional costs of the trip. Uh, it'll be fairly minimal. Once we get closer to the trip, with confirmed participants, we will have a meeting where we'll go over suggested um, I, uh, walking around money that you'll need for each day and go over all the finer details to that point. Uh, further in to this document here, it will go over uh, some of the touring that we will be doing. Uh, Tower of London, uh, some of the castles that we will uh, take tours of, uh, as well as the London Eye and other fun experiences that the students will uh, will take part in, a New Year's Eve party, things like that. Uh, so uh, it goes over in great detail what that looks like. Harry Potter fans, we go on a Harry Potter tour. Um, and in addition, we'll also be seeing a live jazz band there uh, one of the evenings there that should be uh, pretty entertaining. Uh, one thing to understand here towards the back is the cancellation policy. Please make sure you review that if you foresee anything significant that could happen uh, that may, uh, where you need some flexibility, there's some cancellation uh, amendment to the document. Please do read it very carefully. They protect themselves uh, while also allowing you to protect yourself a little bit, uh, but you know, make sure, it, it, so you're aware, the Reader's Digest version is that it needs to be a fairly catastrophic event in order for them to refund all of your money. But if something, if the unthinkable does happen, uh, there is that uh, you know, that accommodation. Um, you know, a change of heart uh, is not covered by any stretch. So uh, make sure you review that section uh, if that's something that you believe could be a concern down the road. Um, if 
final document to go over uh, is this here. Again, it just uh, reviews that we are going to London, as if you weren't aware. Uh, and then uh, this, uh, and on the back page, it gives you a, a shorter form of the payment structure. And then the most important part here is that if you are interested, you fill out this document here with the student's information and your contact inf information, as well as the electronic form that I sent to you. Um, and uh, then submit that check to GBNBPO, and we'll be uh, off to the races. I am really excited about what this will do for Glenbrook North Span's program. Uh, I, as we look to the future, I want to be a program that's on the move, performing and doing, not just talking about. And it's events like these that truly are once in a lifetime. Uh, a couple things to be clear on, uh, for those considering this international experience, this will be the only international experience that your child will be able to uh, enjoy during their time here at Glenbrook North. We have a cycle of trips in conjunction with the other members of our department, where every two years we do a trip, uh, two years after this we'll do a domestic trip, uh, something a little bit more affordable, but also more local. Um, and then two years after that, once uh, your students have graduated, we will uh, we'll do another international experience. So if you are hoping for an international experience, let me tell you, there's no better group of people to do it with than with the band because these are people that you will be with consistently uh, either the next two, three, four years, uh, depending. And, uh, and you want to make sure you take advantage of it because uh, especially as we get closer to the trip, uh, there's going to be a lot of excitement around it. And uh, you know, we would, I would hate to see the regret uh, of not being able to be part of it. So um, it's uh, as far as uh, a couple things just to consider. Uh, while we st strongly encourage students to be in marching band for all of the great reasons that marching band brings to uh, just the high school experience in general, let me be very clear, it is not required that you are in marching band to go on this trip. We will have four to five outside rehearsals during the months of November and December uh, where we will work on the marching skill as a full band so that we are prepared. Uh, but the marching skill is not challenging to teach, not challenging to learn. Uh, and so I, I am confident between those five outside of school rehearsals between two months of November and December, we will be prepared uh, for our December parade. Uh, the music that we will play for the London uh, concerts, we will learn as part of our curricular school day work. Um, and so all of that is built in to next year's beginning experience. Um, and so there's, there's not a tremendous up outside of school time. You do need to be enrolled in band to go on this trip, with the exception, of course, of Color Guard, if you're part of our Color Guard. If you're not enrolled in band, we certainly do hope that you join us anyway. All right, so about 13 minutes, not too bad, uh, but I'm sure that there's things that I missed. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will, of course, keep uh, email correspondence going as we go through this process. If anyone does ask a question where it's like, well, it's a good question, everyone should know the answer, I'll make sure I, I send that information out to everyone. Uh, if you would like a phone call at any time to, to talk over greater details or to fill in some blanks that will give you that confidence to commit to this trip, uh, please let me know. I'm happy to schedule some time to chat with you. In any case, I hope everyone has enjoyed this wonderful winter weather that we've been having, and I hope that you have a great rest of your week and weekend not too far away now as we're just about halfway through the week. Take care, and I look forward to talking with you soon.